Hi, welcome to a product review by Robojax. In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce the KR1204, a 12 volt four channel relay to control four AC or DC load via the remote control over 433 megahertz. Let me turn it on and off between the two. And then this is now latch, meaning I turn on and turn off and then four on and quiet with this kind of this cannot handle for four what is inside it just eight times AC 15 ampere 100 let's get started with this this is the KR1204 a 12 volt four channel relay from Kia chip QIA chip Kia chip website here they've shown it with different remote doesn't matter because all these 433 megahertz remote will work with this and you can purchase this from ebay aliexpress or amazon this website is selling it for ten dollars us and here when i searched for four channel relay i got this one this is the one that i purchased i believe with these four keys it is sold for 11 dollar 92 cents canadian which you will receive it between 40 to 60 40 to 60 business days controlled via 433 megahertz you might receive it with this type of uh, transmitter key you, or you might get it with this type of transmitter depending on which you choose the megahertz this is the receiver here which receives from this transmitter so it receives the when you press a button depending on the mode it receives the signal detects it and execute the command e by turning on or off uh, one or multiple of these relays these relays are just a mechanical switch that will turn on and off a load for each relay we have three terminal this is for one that's for the second one the three and this three is for the third one and this last three is for the number four which i'm going to demonstrate also it has been labeled here if you look at just these three here this uh, this is normally open common and normally closed normally open is labeled as no common com and normally closed nc and they have been labeled here nc common normally open and we have numbers here which corresponds to these numbers i'm going to demonstrate it and show you the wiring so do not worry here we have a two terminal that you can connect it 12 volts which will power this up when i connect positive and negative you see this led is on and this is my positive the, the orange if i switch the polarity and it has polarity protection so don't worry if you make mistake it will not burn when the relays are not on it consumes 10 milliampere continuously from 12 volts one relay needs about 40 milliampere when it is turned on so if you turn on all of their four times 460 milliampere plus 10 170 so it needs about 170 or if you be safe 200 milliampere continuously at 12 volts this coil is part of the receiver as an antenna make sure do not change the shape of it otherwise it will either significantly reduce the range of it or completely you will not be able to receive signal red when it receives signal and also when you do the programming blank have the module also with this box but it is absolutely useless because if you put this here uh, how can you pass the wires this for full release and also power this box is totally waste so you will never be able to use it and here i have two remote i've programmed it with this remote as you can see it works but when i press this now this doesn't work you use more than one remote then you need to buy this duplicator or cloning one what it does is that you will you will use this remote program it with this and then you buy one of these this will learn 
from this. So the other one will learn from this, and you have to get it. But if you get two regular one, this cannot learn from this. And here, in order to open it, you just need to put the screwdriver here and turn it. And here is what is inside. It comes with a battery. And this is the button side. Very solid build. This has a rubber, which means it is water resistance, I believe. Because once you put it and press this, the water should not get in. If you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. And here is how you can calculate the power rating of a relay. For example, this relay has been rated at 10 ampere at 250 volts, 10 ampere at 125, and 10 ampere at 30 volts DC and 28 volts DC. And all these voltages, it has been rated at 10 ampere. But this one has been rated at 10 ampere 250 volts AC, 15 ampere 125, and 10 ampere 250. Regardless of which module you have, they all have a rating on them written so keep that in mind example in your region if you're controlling an ac load and the voltage is 220 volts 10 times 220 just put a zero it will be 2200 watts or 2.2 kilowatts and if you're in north america if it's 125 volts for example this one is rated at 15 ampere so 15 times 120 you will get 1800 watt or 1 1.8 kilowatts if you are using let's say 12 volts and 10 ampere just multiply 10 times 12 volts it will be 120 watts if you overload any relay with a more than rated current it will melt and there will be a hazard of fire and if you want to go the other way let's say you know the power and the voltage and you want to calculate the current let's say you have uh, 1500 watt power and your region is 220 volts 220 this can handle 6.8 ampere so if if you're using this relay it is rated at 10 ampere you're good make sure that the current that you calculate is always below the rated current or the power that you calculate is always below the rated calculated power For this demonstration, I'm going to use this AC bulb. This is a plug that will be connected to wall outlet and the light will be turned on. At uh, the middle, at this point, I have disconnected the wire, one of the wire, the live wire here, and I've twisted them and prepared them. These two uh, will be connected to the relay. Job of relay is to turn it on by connecting these two wires, turning on the light, and disconnecting it, turning it off. So this can be a bulb or a fan or any other load, the same way the relay will connect it and disconnect it. I'm here to demonstrate the two wires that I just shown you for the load. This is an AC bulb. I'm connecting it to channel one at these two wires. Now there is power, I have to be careful. These two wires, that is for channel one. If I press A, you will see it will turn on and turn off. And for channel 2, you will connect it at these two terminals. If I press it, you will see it will turn on and off. And for channel 3, I've connected them at these two terminals. Let me turn it on and off. And for channel 4, it has been connected to these two terminals where you leave one pin unconnected. Turn it on and off. Instead of AC bulb or load, I've connected four LEDs to four outputs. I'm going to demonstrate all features of this module one by one. First, we have to reset this. I've connected now 12 volts here. 12 volts is connected here. To reset this, we have to press this eight times. I'm holding it. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and it will blink. Now this is resetted. Now if I press any of these, it will not work. To program mode one, which is just momentarily, press this once, and then press any key. Now blink three times and done. Now this is momentarily, if I press it on, that one is on, but I have to keep it pressed. Release, off. Same way for two, same way for three, and same way for four. Programming again, we have to clear this by pressing this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it will blink. Well, turn off now it has been cleared from previous programming. Mode 2 is toggle. You have to press the same button to turn it on and press the same button to turn it off. Let's program it by pressing this twice, once, twice, and then press any key. Done after three blanks. Now to turn on channel 1, press on and then press the same button to turn it off. The same way for 2, 3, and 4 but you can keep them on all of them or off because they are all independent programming again we have to clear this by pressing this eight times one two three four five six seven eight and it will blink well turn off now it has been clear from previous programming three is latching meaning you have to press one for turning it on and the other one to turning it off. So once you press, once you turn on, for example, number one, number two will be off. So one of them will be on at a time, not all of them. Let's program it. Let's press it three times, once, twice, three times. And press any button after three blink, done. Now one is on and then if I press two, only two is on. The rest are off. So one at a time. On the rest off. Programming again, we have to clear this by pressing this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it will blink. Well, turn off now, it has been cleared from previous programming. Now, mode number four is two channel momentarily, and two channel will be toggled. Let's press four once twice three times four times ready press any key three blinks done now the two channel will be momentarily so this is now toggle one and two and then the two channel will be momentarily i have to hold it to, to keep it on but the other are independent so they stay like that one and two can be toggled on and off if you want to learn Arduino, I have a bestseller course on Udemy where you can learn Arduino from ground up with hundreds of projects, all course material, library, codes, wiring diagram, everything available in one place. The link for my Arduino course is below this video in the description. Programming again, we have to clear this by pressing this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and it will blink well turn off now it has been clear from previous programming now mode five is two channel momentarily and two channel latch to program it press five times one two three four five and press any key three blinks done now one two so these are now you see they are latching, but these are momentarily, I have to press it and hold it. Programming again, we have to clear this by pressing this eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it will blink. Well, turn off, now it has been cleared from previous programming. Now for mode 6, which is toggle and latch, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then press any button. 
now the two channel will be now toggle between the two and then this is now latch meaning I turn on and turn off and then four on and off program and again we have to clear this by pressing this eight times one two three four five six seven eight and it will blink well turn off now it has been cleared from previous programming mode number seven is latch and latch one two three four five six seven i'm programming it for mode seven press any key done now these two are now latch one and two and then three and four three and four Thank you for watching. This was how to use this KR1204 12 volts 4 channel relay module with remote control. If you learned something and found this useful, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. If you want to get updates of my upcoming videos, make sure to subscribe. Hi, welcome to product tutorial by Robojax. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how we can use this four channel relay module to control four electronic, to, con to control four, to control, to control four AC or DC load. Now I have connected a D an AC, now I have connected an AC bulb. I can turn it on and off.